Janine. Hey, Janine, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. And I got to say congratulations on this amazing project and all the amazing projects that you've been doing over the past couple of years. And let's just get started. Like while we're at it, this project is incredible. I love seeing the first two episodes. I was on my seat. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> what what was the thought process going into this project versus, you know, the other project that you guys did together, um, Atlanta, and then just, you know, just projects that you've done previously, honestly? Uh, you know, we, we connected on this, you know, I wrote for season three and four of Atlanta, and we really hit it off. And when he pitched me this idea, we just kind of ran with it, you know, and I think, you know, I think in the way that Atlanta broke a lot of kind of broke the mold for storytelling and in subverting the expectations of of a black story in that kind of limelight i think we really wanted to do that with this story um but from the lens of a black female right and so right. that was just we knew that from the get-go that that is what we wanted to do and we knew that we were going to tell a slightly polarizing story with a black woman at the helm of it and that's very purposeful that's very intentional in the way that we're allowing this woman to have a very complicated relationship with with us you know and like how does that make us feel and is that okay because you know, at the end of the day this is this is the reality like this is what we wanted to kind of we wanted to kind of present that reality to a black audience. Like, are you ready for this or are you not? And I think it's most appropriate, especially the times that we are still going through, especially through this pandemic. And we're seeing that, you know, the importance of our voices, um, women of color, men of color, just people of color, just in people as a whole to really not be afraid to address the issue of you know, mental health and stuff like that. And and then be able to even tackle on some things that we don't even talk about. And that is, you know, fandom within the black community and stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I love that you touched on that. What, what what made it more important this time around to really kind of hone in on, on that since we haven't been able to see that within our own culture in, in film? You know, I think the internet is just so a part of our lives. You know, social media is everywhere. We have access to so many people. And I think the relationship gets really blurry. You know, when you when you are able to see a story in real time or be live with someone and and tweet them or like their comment or do something in real time, like what does that do to the to your psychology as a person? You know, and like, how does that, how do we, how do people in the world take ownership of people that they think that they know, you know? And, and, and that I think is, that's like a really interesting way to just try to like, that was the, the way to approach the story, you know? And I think we, you know, Donald being someone who is in the limelight himself, someone who is, a music star who has his own like weird fans that are that are coming at him and and wanting to have some sort of relationship with him you know all of that is like ever present when you create a show with someone like that so that was that was just it was in a room it was the elephant in the room <laughs> for everything amazing well janine thank you so much congratulations again on this project and hopefully hopefully again we'll speak yeah, very nice meeting you. You as well.